Where are your hands? Today on this very special episode of the YouTube Hobo Radio Show, I'm going to show you the KG805M 2-watt MERS radio. The price for the KG805M is $99. It's available only from buy2wayradios.com, affiliate link below. Buy2wayradios.com did send me this radio in exchange for a review and sharing it with you, my favorite viewer, because MERS is becoming more and more popular and more and more people are buying and using MERS radios. MERS is not the sound that a retarded cow makes. MERS is the multi-use radio service. Multi-use radio service. MERS. It operates in the 151 megahertz to 154 megahertz range. Got to make sure I get that right, because if I say it incorrectly in any way, some know-it-all will leave a comment pointing out that I was one megahertz off as if anybody cares or it makes a difference. And MERS is getting more and more popular. I used to make fun of people that would leave comments saying, oh, MERS is the best. But it turns out maybe they were right. More and more people are using MERS because you don't need a license, just like an FRS radio. It operates and works very much like FRS, which are the cheap little uh, 20 mile range blister pack type radios that you get at Walmart, except less current today, I guess until I do this video, less people use MERS than use FRS. If you've ever used FRS, which shares channels with GMRS, you turn on your radio, you hear all kinds of kids talking on their little cheap radios, you hear serious GMRS people talking, a lot of people cluttering up the airwaves, polluting the airwaves, as some people would say. On MERS radios, you don't have that issue yet. MERS radios are limited to two watts maximum, and it only has five channels. But like I said, because nobody's using those channels, they're much less crowded. So you get more of a open, free radio air experience on a MERS radio. Like I said, you do not need a license to use MERS and you can use a MERS radio for personal use, off-roading, talking to the kids, or business use, completely legal. Just drive by any Walmart with your MERS radio set to channel four or channel five, and you'll see that yes, businesses do use MERS. Like FRS radios, MERS radios are very simple to use. You turn it on, you set one of the channels. There's only five channels to choose from, so it's harder to screw it up than an FRS or GMRS radio. There's no repeaters. Most MERS radios don't have a lot of options. It's very simple. Turn it on and talk. Unlike FRS, a MERS radio can have a detachable antenna. So you can take the antenna off and put on a larger antenna you can put an antenna that connects up to the roof of your car or even up to the roof of your house. So you can extend the range of your MERS radio significantly by using a different or larger antenna. You cannot do that with FRS. And to do that same sort of thing on GMRS, you would need a license. No license needed for MERS. Another advantage of MERS is that it operates in the VHF band, those lower frequencies 100 and what did I say 151 to 154 lord please don't let me get it wrong somebody leave. which means in some scenarios it will perform better than GMRS which is in the or FRS which are both in the UHF band which is much higher because MERS is in a lower frequency range those signals tend to travel better when you're around things like buildings and houses and trees or if you're indoors generally speaking most of the time on average VHF lower frequencies work better in that sort of conditions. Not always, of course, there's always exceptions. Radio frequencies and waves do funny things. You don't need to leave a comment to tell us about that one time that the GMRS worked better than the MERS. Just nobody cares. On MERS, you can also send data. Unlimited data, as much data as you want to do whatever you want, unlike GMRS. And you can do that all without a license. This all makes MERS very appealing to many people. KG805M. M for MERS. I'm going to show you what you get in the box with the KG805M. This is not an unboxing video because as I've said many times, unboxing videos are stupid. Cool whip. 
stupid cool whip. You know that there are people out there on the YouTubes that actually make videos of nothing but an unboxing. They open the box, they take whatever is in the box out of the box, they show what's in the box, and then that's it. They don't talk about how well it works or what it does. I'm going to debox the contents of the box. I'm going to show you what it is, what's in there, as well as what it does and how it does it, because this is a quality YouTube channel. So in the box, when you buy your Ocean, Wuxin, did I say it was a Wuxin Ocean Radio? KG805M, what you will receive is a user manual, user pamphlet, extremely well written in perfect perfect English. You can tell a lot about a radio and the quality by how much time and effort they put into the manual. Manual is the most important part. Without the manual, they would be chaos. You will receive the customer warranty card. You will receive a battery charger. This is one of the better battery chargers. You can see that it's got four of the little charger pins. That means it is a smart charger. So it won't allow the battery to overheat. It'll throttle it down or turn off the charging when necessary. You will receive a belt clip, which affixes to the radio so that you can then wear it on your belt and impress all the ladies. You will receive this very handsome wrist strap, again, to impress the ladies. You will receive the antenna, which, I don't know if you can read it, is tuned, it should say there, tuned specifically to the MERS frequency ranges. You will receive a battery, which affixes to the radio and thus provides electrical energy to power the radio. And you will receive the KG805M 2 watt MERS radio. If you're familiar with the Wuxin Ocean radios, you may notice that this looks exactly like a KG805G, a GMRS radio. This is basically the same thing, except the guts have been reprogrammed with all of the MERS rules so that it has MERS baked in instead of GMRS baked in. It is a solid feeling radio, just like the KG805G. It feels very satisfying when you hold it in your hand. The KG805M MERS radio is a super heterodyne radio. That means it uses classic radio circuitry. It's not one of the cheap SOCs or entire circuit on a SO system on a chip. An SOC, which you'll find in many of the cheaper, lesser quality radios, means the entire radio is on one chip. Those are much cheaper to manufacture and spit out like cookies in a cookie cutter. The super heterodyne or super het as the radio dorks call it. Costs a little bit more to make, but it's a better quality. That means that it's gonna receive better, it's gonna have better sensitivity, so you will he hear people from far away better. For me, the main thing that I always like to mention is that it means the squelch will actually work. On many of the cheaper SOC type radios, the squelch just is useless. The KG805M has an IP55 rating. That means it is moderately dustproof and moisture proof moist. So you can't drop it in the lake, but if you're out in the rain or a moist environment, the radio is not going to get ruined like many of the lesser, less expensive radios. In order to maintain that IP55 rating, the battery must be affixed properly, snapped in correctly, and you have to have the little rubber door here on and closed. If you have a headset or a microphone on, that reduces the IP rating, making it more vulnerable to the moist, moist. The radio is programmable using a uh, programming cable, uses the same programming cable as the KG805G, same uh, K-type connector, goes in thusly. Usually the same cable works with your uh, Bufwang UV5R. Pretty much any USB type cable with that K-type connector should work. I'll put a link to this specific cable made specifically for the Ocean radios, available only at buy2wayradios.com. I'll put a link to that below. So to use the radio, you need the battery. This is a 1700 milliamp hour battery. And I noticed it has, I don't know if you can see that, 
that says, well, it said security code. And it's like a little lottery scratch off thing. You scratch it off. And there's some numbers and stuff under there. I don't want to scratch it off because I don't want to reveal the numbers. Apparently, that is a security feature. I've never seen this on any other batteries that makes it more difficult for the counterfeiters to knock out fake batteries and sell them on eBay. So to use the radio, we're going to insert the battery. It goes in kind of at an angle like that. It gives a satisfying snap when it's in. She sounds nice, doesn't she? I'm starting to like her more than the UV5R lady. So we've got the on off and volume knob. Got the channel change knob. Four, three, two, one. You've got the channel scan button. So using the software, you can program in 128 additional frequencies including NOAA channels that you can scan through. It can only receive and scan through frequencies 134 megahertz up to 170 megahertz. That was a conscious choice by Wuxin Ocean to not try to jam everything in the whole kitchen sink into one radio. MERS operates, MERS operates in that 150 megahertz range area. And so you're limited in how far away you can scan from that. So you can put in up to 128 channels via software and you can scan through them by Pressing that button. And it will scan through all of the uh, frequencies that you've programmed in. You can lock and unlock the radio by pressing and holding the exit button. You can customize the what's shown on the display. Oh, oh. Almost forgot. Roger Beep. It does have the Roger Beep functionality. Let's turn that on. If you're not sure what a Roger Beep is, or if you don't know why the Roger Beep is the most important setting you can have on your radio, make sure you watch that video. Roger Beep, very important function. Where was I before I got distracted? Uh, customizing the display. So I can customize what shows on the screen. Right now it's set to show the channel. I can have it show the frequency. So now it shows the frequency of the five channels or whatever frequency I programmed in if I was scanning through them. Or I can enter a custom name enter. and have it display the custom name. You can enter a custom name for the channels on the radio, but it's really hard to do because you got to use the knob and the buttons. It's a pain. Much easier to do it using the software. If I didn't mention, you can download that software free from buy2wayradios.com. The Chirp software does not yet support the KG805 line of radios. You can customize the color of the screen. It has different color options for when you do different things, such as receiving Enter. and transmitting. That's customizable. You can program the uh, top side button. By default, it switches to FM radio, so you can receive FM radio, regular commercial FM radio, you know, music. So I can tune in to the Gospels and see what Xenu has been up to lately. It also has a alarm button, which I still don't know why. Wuxin, why? Why do you bother? You could do so much more with that space, something more functional than a stupid alarm button. You can disable that in the settings. The first thing I did right after turning on the Roger beep. You've got your menu button, which you've already seen me operate. That's to go in and change settings. You've got your up and down buttons for changing the channel or changing your settings uh, while you're in the uh, menu options. Of course, the exit button is to exit whatever function you're on. And as I mentioned, you can use it to lock the radio. Lock. Now you see the little lock icon. When it's locked, you can't change the channels by changing the knob or the button. So it locks everything except the volume. The volume still changes when it's locked. Push to talk button here. Solid, oh, the, Roger beep. And on the back where you plug it into the charger, it's got the, like I said, the multiple pins, which means it does the smart charging. And when you plug it into the charger, it has a very tight and satisfying feel to it. Some chargers that you just kind of drop it in and it's just kind of, eh, you don't really know, is it connecting? Is it not connecting? 
you know when this is in the charger because it ain't coming out and it snaps in and gives you that very satisfying charging. The box says this outputs two watts, so let's test that. So I have my handy dandy SWR and power meter. I'm not gonna test the SWR because it is very difficult to accurately test the SWR on a handheld. When buying from a reputable manufacturer, the antenna is properly tuned. This SWR and power meter comes with this little dummy load. I'll link to this little meter. It's my favorite meter. It's only like 40 bucks on Amazon. Affiliate link below. Comes in very handy. So we will, oh shit. Well, we're not gonna put that on just like that because I need an adapter. I did not plan this out very well. This SWR and power meter, by the way, came with almost all of those connectors. Not all of them, but it came with an assortment of connectors. Look at the description on Amazon to see what connectors it comes with. Somebody actually purchased one of these from one of my videos once and left a comment complaining to me that it didn't have the connectors that he required for his specific application and his radio. As if somehow it was my fault that he was too stupid to read the description of what he was buying. So always read the description of what you are buying. So we're gonna go to channel one. This is a five watt dummy load. It also came with the uh, little meter set up. I'm gonna switch it to watt mode by moving that little indicator up to the top. We're now on watts. So let's see what we get. 2.7 watts. Slightly over, don't tell the FCC. It's better than being under. Five. Go to channel five. Let's see what kind of power output we have. We had 2.7 watts on channel one. 2.8 watts, 2.7, 2.8. Most radios output under what it's supposed to. This one's outputting slightly over. Unfortunately, I only have one of the KG805M radios available only at buy2wayradios.com. Affiliate links below. So I can't do a good range test, but MERS on any handset radio is gonna get around one mile range easily in fair conditions. That range will be significantly more. Two to three miles would be easily possible in open conditions. For example, if you're at the top of a hill and somebody is three miles away, two miles away, at the bottom of the hill and there's nothing between you, you can extend that range greatly by connecting an external antenna. For example, a mag mount on antenna and stick it on the top of your car or a a large antenna and put it on the top of your roof of your house. That's something that you cannot do with a FRS radio. And if you wanted to do that with a GMRS radio, you would have to have a GMRS license. So you can do all of that with a MERS radio, no license required. So that is a quick overview of the KG805M MERS radio. I tried to keep this video short because the crybabies often complain that my videos are too long and it's kind of hot in here. If you have questions about the KG805M MERS radio or questions about MERS in general, leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer. If I'm not able to answer, somebody else will come along and they will try. Bear in mind that most people, many people that leave comments on YouTube have no idea what they're talking about. They're just making shit up as they go along. So bear that in mind. They will probably get it wrong. Thank you for watching. And if you're Mers.